Hey guys, it's Pixel. In today's video, we're starting a brand new series on how to script on Roblox using Lua. To start, go to the link in the description to download Roblox Studio, install it, and then open it up. To start, we're going to insert a part, and to do that, you can go to the Home tab, which, let me just fix this right quick, um, Home tab, and then click on our part button here. It'll insert a part, and you can see it has inserted into Workspace. Our workspace is basically what you can see with your camera, or at least most objects. Besides camera and terrain, you'll be able to see any parts and objects that you insert. This is where you can build and stuff for your game. Today's video, we're learning about scripting and changing the properties of a part. As you can see, there's parts properties here inside of our part properties window. It's a tongue twister. Um, and these properties you can change using a script, all of these properties that you see here. To do that, we're going to click on our part and click on the white plus, and we're going to search for a script. It's going to open up a script and you're going to see print hello world. Make sure that your script is inside of your part, and we can begin scripting. To zoom in, you can press control and use your scroll wheel. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the color of our part. Now when we run our game using the playtest button here, we're going to hit run. It'll run our code and it'll run from top to bottom. That's something that's very important. Remember that's kind of how all codes work, I guess. Um, so we're just going to write a simple line to change the part's color. So the first thing we're going to do is write script, which is referring to itself dot parent oops dot parent and what parent is is if you look in the hierarchy here in workspace the parent of the script is whatever the script is under so our script is under part so our parent is part and that's what we're trying to change properties so we're referring script dot parent we're referring to the part script dot parent so you use dot to refer to properties of a uh, of an object so the parent as you can see here the data property of script our parent is part so script dot parent dot brick color which is the name of the color which make sure you get it right with the capitals because scripting um, and scripting capitals matter <laughs> um, so script dot parent dot brick color equals right and this is where it gets a little different because we have to use a built-in um, kind of parameter, I guess. I'm not sure what to call it. Um, for changing a brick color. So we're going to do brick color dot new. And then we're going to do parentheses like this. Then inside of here, you're going to type two quotation marks like this. And then you're going to type in your color. And to figure out your color, you can go down here to the brick color and look over the colors. The name will change here. Or you can start typing a letter and it'll recommend some colors to you. So we're just going to do bright green. Make sure that the capitals match. And after that, that's all we have to do. We can go back to base plate. Click over here and hit run. And it'll change our part color to green. Another thing that we want to use is go over to the view tab and click on output. It open up a window towards the bottom of your screen, and this output is essentially a console if you're um, familiar with other game creation studio programs, I guess. Um, it'll show you any errors in your script, or we can use um, debugs or create a log, basically, using the print function. Um, so, if we had an error, perhaps, um, we did that, which... <laughs> Doesn't even make sense, or I guess you know if we had an error like this, which you would already tell because it has a red thing, it would tell you that there is an error in your script. You can click on it and it'll take you to the script. It'll even give you the line, which is a script one here, which is on line one. We'll hit done, and then you'll be able to debug your code that way. You so essentially with this information, you can change any um, property. So, depending on the property, you might have to do specific something. So, a cast shadow, which if you're using, if you go to lighting technology and change this to shadow map, 
it will create a shadow from the part from the sun and you'll be able to uncheck this to cast a shadow or not and this is simply a bool value which is a value that is either true or false so if we try to change this cast shadow all we have to do is simply type equals false the reason we had to use brick color for this is because the value of this property is a brick color value this one is a color three value so if you wanted to do change the color using a color code then you would do color equals color three dot new and then in here you would type in your color code like this right um actually from rgb works best because it's red green blue so it'll actually give you the color that you want if you're ever gonna you know play around with that then we have material which is simply a enum value which it's basically like a built-in value i guess i don't really know how to explain it i guess but you know we have values here that are set so it's like there's like a table of values and you just have to pick one so to select an enum value you're going to type enum dot material which is what we're changing dot plastic and we can change our thing to plastic even though it's already plastic our reflectance and transparency are simply just number values um so we'll be able to change these however we want using the sliders or again if we want to do it in the script we can just try dot transparency um, equals 0.1 and it'll change the transparency um, you can go ahead and play test this if you don't believe me trust me it works um, with our position value this is a vector 3 which I don't expect you to remember all this information I'm just showing you kind of how scripting works to change properties and a lot of properties have different types I guess like this is a vector 3 so you can you can't just type the position is that it's not going to work that way you have to use a vector three um here behavior of all of it is bool values besides this which you don't need to worry about that but yeah that is simply everything you need to know about properties and again with scripting you can type in multiple lines of code so if we want to change the transparency to 0.5 change our brick color to yellow and we can do that if we want to change a script up here we can change the name even we can change it to yellow block like that uh, we can change the position if we want and since it's already what position it's kind of there we're going to put it in the origin and five no ten studs up in the air which this is x y and z and then if we want to test this we can just go and hit the run button and it'll make our block Oop. okay <laughs> i did or oh yeah we had an anchor at our block which anchored um means that our block will not have physics so it as it just did it fell out of the sky ours won't fall out the sky if we have anchored be true which you should just set it by default you don't have to do it by a script so there it is that's how you change a property of a brick using a script um the next thing i want to say is you don't necessarily have to have the script inside of the part we can have our script in workspace but since workspace does not have any of these properties you'll get an error so what we're going to do is script.parent.part which is the name of our part with cap sensitive dot transparency equals 0.5 and then you repeat for all of that and it should work like that so that is episode one of our scripting guide i hope you guys are excited to learn scripting i'm very excited to teach you guys so if you're excited for the new episodes, then make sure you hit that like button. I would appreciate it if you would subscribe since it is free and it's the best way to support my channel. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode.